Ready? On your knees. In all these different arts here, yeah, disciplines, in grappling disciplines, it's so compartmentalised, isn't it? So like the judo guys, they will focus on the, the they'll concentrate all their training on trips and the science of throwing, innit? Yeah. And then pinning. Wrestlers focus on body mechanics of driving to the ground and pinning. Mm. Um, Jiu-Jitsu will focus on the transition stuff, like the, the, the little nuances in grappling. But if you put it all together, bro, the body can only do so much, innit? It's all grappling art, bro. And if you, if you focus on one of it and ignore the rest, man, you're just depriving yourself of some yeah. serious knowledge and some serious nuances that can be beneficial to your game. I was kind of big, I was always kind of big, like I was 15 stone at the time. Uh, I used to do a lot of weights. Um, I thought I could fight, but when it comes to systematic fighting, I was inexperienced. So a small dude, he's a black belt today. At the time he was a blue belt. He invited me to go and train in one gym to a thing called BJJ. So I went there, they started on the knees, we started to wrestle. I'm wrestling with this guy and I think I'm gonna smoke him. Like, the first one he got me was a rear naked choke. Straight away, come on, so again, I'll fire it up, let's go again, let's go again, one more time, come on, bam, again, got me an armbar from the guard, this little guy against my will, imagine this guy's small, I'm like a muscle freak, like Avenger guy, yeah, actually he didn't humble me yet, he really attacked my ego though, third time, when he got me the third time, I went on for like a good extra 15 seconds, but it was inevitable, he was going to get me, he took my back again, and a choke, and I was like, you know what, I accept it now, I slammed to, I submit, yeah, I'm done, cool. What are you, a black belt? He said, no, nah, I'm a blue belt. When he said that, that's when I said, I've got to go and learn it, but this is real, this is the real Kung Fu. This is the real Kung Fu, let's go and learn this now. He's not even a black belt and he's this competent and he's doing this and he's smaller than me and he's literally weaker than me. He's not, he doesn't have more strength than me, so he's beating me with sheer technique. You've got to respect that. If you don't respect it, you've just been ignorant and your ignorance would be the, your downfall. So yeah, this. Uh, checked online for the best academy. I literally, I literally typed that on the computer, by the way. The best BJJ, <laughs> the best BJJ academy in London. And um, Roger Gracie come up, and I just took my first introductory class, class there, and never looked back. Some people may not, but if you don't know, you're gonna know now. I'm registered blind. I'm legally blind. I have a visual impairment whereby I'm unable to see. If you compare my eyesight to, you can compare it to, say being underwater with goggles on, filled with Vaseline. I can't see anything in terms of detail. I can't focus my vision on anything, so I'm literally, my uh, jiu-jitsu relies on the sense of touch. To represent God out here, you gotta have some self-discipline, man. You gotta be able to control your desires, your negative emotions. You got, yeah, you need to control yourself and know your lane, stay in your lane. You can't be representing the king of kings out here and you're unable to control little tiny aspects of your own behavior. Does that make sense? So when you're learning this year through physical humility in jiu-jitsu, but it helps you and conditions you to prepare yourself to represent God. Obviously, we're gonna have shortcomings, isn't it? But at least own it and recognize it. Like, God, no, I'm sorry. But I'm sorry about this, I, f I fell short, I recognised I did. Yeah, I own that I did, and I'm gonna try my best and go out of my way to discipline myself. I got caught out. Just like in jiu-jitsu, I didn't humble myself, I forgot myself for a moment, I thought I was too good because I learnt a new move, and the dude took my back and choked me out, he humbled me. Yeah, so let me go stay in my lane, realise what I need to go and work on, and just get back on that discipline path again. So, the lessons transcend and they, 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 they go hand in hand with one another. And as a servant of God, you need to be humble, man. And all in all, I just like the, the vibes and the environment around here, man. It's good to chill with the brothers again, man. Thanks.